as all of you are aware this mission uh, of GSLV F12 is after the debacle that we had in F10 mission where the there was an issue in the cryogenic stage the cryogenic engine ignition could not be accomplished and i'm very happy that the corrections the modifications in the cryogenic stage that we have done in this stage as well as the lessons that we learned out of it to make our cryogenic stage more reliable has really paid benefits and we are seeing the success in our GSLV Mark III LVM3 mission with the C25 stage as well as with the cast stage with the required modifications done. So I want to specifically thank the entire failure analysis committee who went through this and made, made, us, made our life much better and also for uh, LPSC Liquid Population System Center who worked hard to make sure the cryogenic stage is brought back to its high levels of reliability. Today, the Navic satellite NVS-01 is the second generation of uh, navigation satellite with the uh, additional capabilities that we have already brought into this satellite constellation uh, where we make the signals more secure. We made more a civilian frequency band L1 and also introduced our, our atomic clock which is uh, designed and developed by Space Application Center ISRO. And this is one of the five series of satellites in this new configuration that are to be launched. So I would like to thank all those people who worked to make this satellite as well and make this mission a really grand success. Now the satellite is in a geotransfer orbit. Now we, the satellite team will take over and now we'll do the rest of the functions of circularizing it and placing it at the right place in the uh, position where it is intended to be. So I uh, wish all the very best to the satellite team for subsequent missions. So today we have my, uh, with me the mission director, Sri Giri, who will speak to you, and also the satellite director, who will speak afterwards. <laughs> 